Okay, we are going to solve for x. So we are solving by finding the value of the variable. x is the variable. So the first thing we need to do is, as always, we need letters on one side and we need numbers on the other. So in this case, we only have an x, so we leave that on that side. We put our equal sign and the number that is already on the correct side in our equation. Now, we need to take the negative 10 and bring it over to the other side. But it's a negative 10, so when you bring it to the other side, the equal sign, it becomes a positive 10. Now, all we have to do is uh, add up our um, variables and our numbers. So 3x is by itself, and then 2 plus 10 is 12. Now, we need to solve for x. We need to get x by itself. And the operation we are going to use here is division. So we divide both sides by the number in front of the variable. x is the variable. The 3's cancel themselves out, and 12 divided by 3 is 4. So there is our answer. When you have uh, an equation that looks like this, it's division. Now, we have an equation that looks like this, where it has a, uh, an x over 7. In this case, we do the exact same steps, except when it comes time uh, to get the a variable by itself, then we need to do a, uh, another operation. But the first thing we need to do is always is letters on one side and numbers on the other. So x over 7 equals 5. These are already there. They're already on the correct side, so they stay the same. Now, the negative 2 needs to come to the other side of the equal sign, so the negative 2 becomes a positive 2. Okay, so now we have x over 7 equals 5 plus 2. So we can add those two together, which gives us a 7. Now, when we get to this step over here, we divide it. In this case, we have a fraction. We multiply. So we need to take the number in the denominator and multiply it by both sides. So we are going to multiply the top by 7 and the other side by 7. So x, x times 7 over 7, it's very simple. We cross those two out. So x is by itself, which makes it very simple. 7 times 7 is 49. So there we have the second method when you have a fraction for figuring out uh, the variable. Over here, when we don't have a fraction, we use division. When we have a fraction, we use multiplication.